What's happening, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Just the Flair from that Facts Cap Podcast, and we at the LaFleur Lounge with it, man. And today we got 600 Breezy had a little situation, a little run in confrontation with Charleston White, or at least that's what the internet is making it seem to be. So, Charleston White was in Jackson, Mississippi to support a movie called Double Crossed or something to that nature. And apparently 600 Breezy is an actor in the movie. Now, Charleston White, it seems as if he didn't know who 600 Breezy was. Now that's a big problem because y'all know Charleston White like to talk a lot of shit. And he said his remarks about King Vine. So y'all know Charleston White, he's a social media um, entertainer. And he does a lot for the youth in his home state of Texas. And his whole niche is basically, I'm going to powder the truth and some gospel and just some real nigga shit over a whole bunch of ignorance. So it's kind of like he give you the medicine and the candy. You know what I mean? At least that's my perspective of Charleston White. Now, a lot of the stuff, the way he says it, the delivery is what rubs people the wrong way and being that he said plenty of things about king von and we all know who king von was we know that the bodies he rap about the demon time shit that he on we not gonna sit here and act like we didn't know von was low-key a little serial killer out here so listen 600 breezy he's 600 which is affiliated with oblock they basically grew up in the same area inglewood um in chicago to get on the south side so that's why he's there to defend king von and just his own personal feelings of charleston white so it i think academics broke this video um we've seen a short video right here it's really not that much context but this is what we got all right so yeah so as y'all see right here no jumper here posted it and they put 600 breezy and charleston wire in the same room for the first time since charleston white's controversial comments about king von and 600 breezy commented and said i told him what i do to him to his face on la which would be another 600 member who passed away with his security and sheriffs around he definitely sending niggas to jail if you touch him now just that first video see at first they showed the first little clip where he was like these my people these my people they didn't have that extended version out so it was really no context now we thought that he was just checking charleston white to me personally it looks like charleston white stood his ground and he was talking and like they were just men having a conversation right so let's see a little bit about what charleston said back Uh, I ain't gonna say he ain't checking. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna say the young nigga ain't checking. The little nigga stand by six two. Uh, nigga probably can be a motherfucker me. Uh, defensive end, nigga, for one of them uh, NFL football team, nigga. So what y'all think? I'm gonna fight that young nigga, nigga, twenty year, some younger than me. Yeah, but one thing I know about the young nigga, he didn't want to fight with all them chains around his neck, but he was upset. He was very, very angry, and the nigga threatened me. Y'all, yeah, you don't know. I tried to call the police on him right here. They don't need motherfucking ass nigga tell me next time I see you outside this circle. What he'll do to me? Nigga, I'm damn near senior citizen level, and I'm disabled. You don't know that, but I have. I started to go put the police on him, my boy. Hey, officer, <laughs> you see that man that suit over there? He threatened me earlier today when, we, when I fresh out the airplane. They took me to a neighborhood where it was all black people sitting on the porch and they had some old uncles out there and them people were vibing. <laughs> now, I'm going to say this. I'm going to just give y'all my opinion. I'm going to start with 600 Breezy. I'm glad you didn't put your hands on Charleston White because you don't get no points for beating up Charleston White. Now, I, I guess it's cool. You, you know, you said your piece to him. Even though I kind of disagree with y'all, like, I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. 
I feel like Chicago niggas is the most gangster sensitive niggas in the world. And what I mean by that is I just like we got to really be stop being so hypocritical when it comes to this Chicago shit, because these niggas sit around here dissing, smoking ops, saying all this shit. And then when Charleston White says what he says. Now, mind you, he didn't. He says all the time he liked King Von because King Von stood on what he stood on. But let's be honest. This is what he said. These are his words. King Von was a demon. He was a murderer. So he said Lil Tim basically did God's work by taking him off of the off of the streets by putting him down. Now, will I say that he did God's work? I'm not gonna go that far, but you know, it's the shock value what makes Charleston White popular. So my whole thing is King Von was one of the most disrespectful rappers we've ever seen. And Breezy, you rap about niggas that you want to, you know, smoke on. You, you've been disrespectful as well yourself. So let's be honest. It just always amazes me when the Chicago rappers get offended or get upset when somebody else speaks the same way about that rapper the way that they do. We have to understand being a serial killer is crazy and being a rapper at the same time. Like we not going to sit here and act like there aren't points that Charleston White is making. See, a lot of the times people just be a little bit emotional and they don't try to understand the point that Charleston White says. And this is why there is always a back and forth. Like when he said everybody be like, oh, he said, fuck Nipsey Hussle. He said, fuck Nipsey Hussle. The character, he said he cares about Aramis. The actual person, the rapper behind it, but see, we don't hear that part. All we hear is, oh, he said fuck Nipsey Hustle. Oh, he said this. We don't listen as people. So that's why I do think Charleston White is gonna find himself in a lot of trouble. But 600 Breezy, you old enough, you in your 30s, you old enough to understand the points that he's making. And we've seen you say, you know, Von shouldn't have did this. I understand you want to defend your homie, but at the same time, you gotta ask yourself, you know, did did Von actually you know was he did he respect anybody have i respected anybody you gotta lead first for other people to follow now charleston white this is gonna be the consequences if you're gonna keep running your mouth now you got so you got a little lucky right here because it seems like 600 breezy is a respectable person he knows how to sit down and articulate himself and talk as a man now if you run into one of these rappers or one of these gangster rappers or these fans or anybody that really care about the people that you talk about and they not as articulate and they not as forgiving you put yourself in a bad situation right there because you either gonna get punched on you're gonna fight you're gonna shoot somebody and then that could possibly have to go to court or you took a soul yourself or you could get hurt you could get shot so this is what i'm saying now you're gonna do all this for shock value you're gonna be moving around you can't be moving around sloppy it is what it is you didn't got caught you need to be checking you went to a movie premiere not even knowing that one of king von's people is in the movie but i don't think this situation is what it is like okay we get it breeze you made auto threats but who cares as like you you threatening the old man you don't get no points for that we not gonna we not gonna be like oh you a gangster oh this that and the third it looked like y'all was just in there conversing you could see charleston white to me he didn't look scared i think that he's selling the point now he always says he lies he says he's a character he said he called the police so i don't even understand why y'all sit there and argue with this man because he's already said the type of person he is he says that he's a character this isn't the real him he'll tell you right there in your face and people still sit there and believe it he didn't say what he is now and you know he calling the police just like you said so it's like you know nobody gets no points but i do respect the fact that y'all sat there and talked about it as men and didn't have to fight because you know i used to believe in friendly phase we've been we've been having this conversation i used to believe in friendly phase but i don't believe in that shit no more you know what i'm saying i even i'm not saying this was a friendly phase but what i'm just saying is like i do believe in talking about stuff because that's how men should articulate themselves if they have a problem then whatever comes after that that's what comes with after it so y'all let me know what y'all think man do y'all think charleston white he was uh he punked out do y'all think 600 breezy punked out because you know everybody keeps saying oh 600 breezy don't ever do shit whenever he run into people y'all let me know what y'all think man like share subscribe comment hit that notification bell and we out baby Boop.
Daddy Channel. <laughs> Subscribe for Daddy Channel.